check out how it wiggles. I'm Hangzhou. We're back in the heavenly and historic capital of Zhejiang province. Why heavenly? How historic? Subscribe to my channel because this is the beginning of a new series on Hangzhou, the West Lake, and summery lotuses. If you've heard of Hangzhou before, hit that like. Uh, right now, a train is approaching the Hangzhou East Station. Uh, next, we're gonna drop off our bags at the hotel and then grab ourselves some lunch at the botanical garden. So that's the theme of this episode. Since the main theme of this trip is Lotus of the West Lake, we've decided to stay on the shore of the West Lake here at the new hotel. But unlike what the name might suggest, the hotel is anything but a newbie in the lodging industry. It has more than a century of history. But more about this in another episode, because right now I just want to get fed. So the restaurant we're visiting uh, also has more than a century of history. Uh, now you might be thinking the acclaimed Lao Wai Lao, uh, which is close by because it also sits on the northern shore of the West Lake. But I've been there a bunch of times, including back in the days when I had a head full of hair uh, and uh, long before that and as well as after that. So we're not going to go to uh, Lao Wai Lao. Instead, we're going to go to the similarly named Shan Wai Shan, and that's also a Tian Wai Tian, by the way. Uh, but Lao Wai Lao is the uh, most um, acclaimed of the three. Uh, Lao Wai Lao literally means um, building beyond buildings. And uh, one of the two popular theories regarding the uh, origin of his name uh, attributes the uh, inspiration to a line in a poem uh, which reads uh, Shan Wai Qin Shan Lao Wai Lao, roughly meaning a verdant mountains beyond mountains. Uh, buildings beyond buildings, uh, depicting the lush and mountainous landscape of the surrounding area and the metropolitan cityscape of Lin'an. Wait, what is Lin'an? Lin'an is one of the former names of Hangzhou uh, during certain historical periods, such as the uh, Southern Song Dynasty, uh, about a thousand years ago when the above-mentioned poem was uh, composed. Uh, this part of Chinese history will appear again in future episodes as we discuss the uh, culinary traditions of Hangzhou, formerly known as Lin An. Shan Wai Shan is a historic institution, but not so historic as to um, date back a thousand years. Uh, it is um, more than a century old though. Um, it was founded in 1903 as Ding Yuan Chu. It was uh, nestled in the forested hills uh, around the uh, nearby Lin Yin Temple. Uh, maybe that's the reason why it was later renamed uh, Shan Wai Shan, you know, literally mountain beyond mountain, uh, based on the above mentioned poem. Um, today, Shan Wai Shan is located uh, within the Hangzhou Botanical Garden, which is a decent destination to see lotuses. Um, but one better reason to come is because of its signature dish, the Zi Pin Yu Tou Huang. Uh, literally extreme fish again, uh, formerly known as the uh, Baba Yu uh, which is the name I much prefer. Uh, the Eight Treasures and the Fish Head King sounds like an epic fantasy blockbuster, but the dish is epic. Um, the, uh, among the Eight Treasures, or however many uh, there are in uh, the big bowl today, are some pretty pricey ingredients such as um, abalone, uh, sea cucumber, etc. But the true jewel of the crown is the Yu Yuan fish ball. Not because it's made from some um, exotic, expensive species. I'll get to that later. Uh, first, check out how it wiggles. Wiggles like jello. But I guess if uh, this were jello in my hand, uh, it would break apart. But the fish ball 
uh, can retain its shape and it won't deform and it'll slip away between uh, the chopsticks. And you would think it's rubbery and, and stiff like squash ball, but no, it disintegrates like tofu in your mouth. Mm. Love this contrast in mouthfeel and hand feel. Uh, this unique texture is the result of a unique uh, preparation process. Um, making a yuge starts with removing the big bones of the fish. Uh, next, the flesh is pounded into a paste uh, using the back of a cleaver. Uh, some people advise um, using a, an old wooden cutting board because the hair cracks can hold and trap the almost invisible tiny bones. Uh, but I've also read other places that advise uh, lining a piece of pig skin between the fish paste and the board to prevent um, the uh, almost invisible splinters from finding their way into the fish paste. But whatever the surface, um, the fish paste uh, is then put into a large bowl and then uh, stirred. Uh, this process introduces air bubbles into uh, the paste, uh, which provides the fish balls with the airiness, uh, so important to their unique texture. During the stirring process, uh, saline water and ginger water are added. Uh, the salt here works as a natural coagulant to help the yuya keep the shape. Um, some people would add um, starch and or egg white, but sticklers would consider those additions um, cheating. Another way to cheat is to use a mechanical blender instead of raw manpower, uh, which might be the case at an institution of this scale, um, but at some of the smaller eateries, especially back in the days, um, people rely on manual labor uh, for this labor intensive process, uh, which is why no story has it that the cooks responsible for stirring the fish paste would always get a workout you know, every time and you know, develop huge Popeye arms. Supposedly one criterion is that you can plant a chopstick into the mush and it will stand up straight and not fall. Uh, so, uh, after the mixture is um, thoroughly uh, stirred, um, it's formed into balls by you know, squeezing the paste out from between uh, your thumb and forefinger and then slowly cook in barely bubbling, barely boiling water. Uh, the fish balls are then usually served in that water in which they were cooked. Uh, usually adorned uh, with a uh, few uh, leafy vegetables, usually nothing fancy, so that diners can you know, concentrate on appreciating how ingenuity and hard work can turn an economical ingredient into a magical delicacy. Uh, the ingredient is usually grass cog. Uh, some places uh, might upgrade a little bit to use black cog. Uh, but these are uh, some of the most widely eaten uh, species in China. So, like I said, nothing expensive like sake. Um, here at Shanghai Chan, they use the big hair carp. Uh, another step up, but still nothing lavish. Because the fish bar is it's never about the ingredients, it's all about um, the labor of love. So I hear that Shan Wai Shan uh, uses uh, flesh from the tail of the bacon carp. What about the rest of the fish? The head is right here. That's the fish head king in the name of the dish. Um, and by now, you probably guessed why the big head cod is called the big head cod. It's with big meaty heads. Uh, the nearby Chandao Lake is a major habitat of the big head cod. Last time with the big head was uh, during our last trip to Hangzhou last autumn, uh, and we had big head carp cooked in a uh, fish head soup. Uh, that's um, probably the most typical way of preparing the big head carp at uh, Chandao Lake. So this dish is basically a fusion between an enhanced version of Hangzhou's fish ball soup and Chandao Lake's uh, fish head soup. And some people um, criticize the dish for having um, too many distracting noises. Um, but you know, it's, it's sort of like uh, surf and turf. Um, I enjoy steak and I enjoy lobster, but I also enjoy them together every once in a while because the chemistry between the two is a uh, different form of enjoyment. And the big head carp here uh, might be a little different from um, the same fish that you find elsewhere. 
uh, because supposedly um, the big helicopter are kept out back in a giant pond with water source from uh, Yu Chang, the Jade Spring. So the uh, big helicopter first live in lake water and then spring water. Now I don't know if the latter uh, makes a difference or not, uh, but it sounds better than tap water. The Jade Spring Yu Chang is one of the uh, three famous springs of the uh, West Lake area and it's nearby uh, here in the Botanical Garden. So we're going to check that out uh, after the meal uh, along with other scenic spots and maybe an art museum. 再见! <laughs>